and go over the remaining house guests and kind of how we think they're playing the game. And we're also going to rate them out of five. Yes, okay. I'm down for that. All right. First off, we're going to start with Betty. Okay. More like, better start playing. Am I right? <laughs> yeah. I think Betty right now is just really relying on Summer and Josh to do some heavy lifting. But in reality, Josh and Summer don't care about Betty at all. Right. And nobody in the house cares about getting Betty out right now. I don't think Betty ever had a strategy, honestly, yeah, coming into this. Like, I think Betty was legit just going off five. I'm going to give Betty a two out of five because I just don't see anything going forward. Unless she can somehow win an HOH, it doesn't it, it doesn't look like much. So I'm going to give her a two. Okay, okay. I'm, I'm going to give Betty a two and a half out of five. Even though she hasn't actually won anything, she does have some big targets she's aligned with that could shield her and insulate her moving forward in the game. Next up, we got our dog, Gino, a.k.a. Janopolis. A.k.a. Stavros. A.k.a. Stavi. You know, listen, Gino's played a really, really good game. I think he's done the best at understanding that this season, especially, is an individual season, and you got to worry about yourself. He's clutch as hell. Big win. Won two important HOHs when he needed to. Right. But this is what Helena said before. I thought she told me that Gino said not to use the power of veto in the no. talk. Really? Yeah. Which doesn't make sense to me because I was supposed to be protected by Gino. Right. I'm giving Gino a four and a half out Bro, of five. I'm giving Gino a four and a half too. I think he's killing it. He's absolutely killing he's it. He's clutch. Next up, we have Helena. The thing is with Helena is that she didn't use the power of Vito on me, I think, to protect Marty. That's what you think, right? Like, right, yeah. That makes sense. Yeah, that definitely makes sense. But she said to me that she wanted Marty out of the game and that Kevin and Marty are two people that she's not aligned with. I'm confused. I don't think anybody wants to get, get Helena out of the game and she's played a great social game if she doesn't even have anybody to worry about. And she hasn't hit the block. And she hasn't hit the block she once. Hasn't hit the block. I, I give, I'm going to give Alina three and a half out of, out of five. I think she's done really well up to this point not to get the block, and she's won a power of veto, so now she knows what it takes to win, so maybe that'll give her that itch. I'm saying three and a half. Yeah? Plain and simple. Okay. And welcome to the game, man. Welcome. Now we got our girl, JC Lynn, more like dipping her toes in to the game because she did just enough to survive this long. Maybe she realizes that if it's going to come down to her or Gino, it's probably going to be Gino that goes for her. She's definitely a little protected by Gino. I think he's a bigger target than she will be in the show, man. So I'm going to give Jace a three and a half out of five. Yeah, I'm actually right there. Yeah, you're right I'm gonna, there. Yeah, yeah. Jace, Jace Lynn for me is going to be a three and a half out of five.